Despite the menace of predators, the Clovis managed to survive and prosper. The population endures periodic losses. In fact, Clovis numbers are rapidly increasing. In virgin lands with plentiful resources, a population of only 200 can increase to 70,000 in just 30 generations, a thousand years. The time it takes the Clovis to conquer the Americas. Shio doesn't know it, but her only child is soon to die. She is born into a world that is in decline. The climate is rapidly warming, and the Ice Age is coming to a dramatic end. ice fields are melting and the American continent is reshaping. It's at this time North American animals like the saber-tooth, mammoth and the short-faced bear are vanishing. But why? Is it the trauma of this accelerated period of global warming? Probably not. These animals have survived 17 similar climate cycles. So why is this one proving so fatal? Humans are here. The one thing that distinguishes this ice age from all the others that have gone before. The Clovis may have thought they had discovered an eternal frontier with an inexhaustible bounty of animals. Yet within as little as a thousand years of human arrival, 30 kinds of animal are becoming extinct. Coincidence? Or were the Clovis responsible? America was once home to five kinds of horse. There were also two types of camel. The Clovis slaughtered horses and camels. The blood of an extinct horse was recently identified on the Clovis spear point. A bone from an extinct camel shows the signs of human butchery. Many scientists are convinced that the Clovis were responsible for killing all the continent's great herbivores. And with the disappearance of most of the large plant eaters like the mammoth, horse, camel and ground sloth, predators could no longer be sustained. If humans are to blame, they are guilty of causing the greatest mass extinction since the dinosaurs perished 65 million years ago.
Shiyo's child is dead. Here on a clifftop in Montana, her people gather to lay her child to rest. They carry hundreds of spear points to place in the child's grave. Why? Is it a time of starvation? Are the Clovis points being laid down as a gesture to appease the gods? Have their deadly weapons become redundant in an empty land? One thing is certain. At the time this child is buried, all the animals the Clovis Spear Point was designed to slaughter have vanished. Once there were great creatures, and now there are only bones. The loss of the new world's giant animals may have forced the Clovis to reassess their relationship with nature. <laughs> 